here in this video we are going to see a problem on calculation of stress and young's modulus let's have a question here a metal rod 24 mm diameter and 2 meter long is subjected to an axial pull of 40 kN if the elongation of the rod is 0.5 mm find the stress induced and the value of young's modulus so this is the question we have whatever is here i will write that in the form of data first here it is given there is a metal rod 24 mm in diameter so i'll write down d is equal to 24 mm it is 2 meter long length is given we can convert this length and we have to convert it into mm is subjected to an axial pull of 40 kN load is given so i am converting load also in terms of newton by multiplying it by 1000 if the elongation of the rod is 0.5 mm elongation means deflection denoted by delta l elongation is 0.5 mm find the stress induced and the value of young's modulus so the questions are we have to calculate how much is the value of sigma that is stress induced and young's modulus that is denoted by capital e now for this question i'll draw a diagram since it is given that there is a metal rod so it will be circular in cross section now here we have a metal rod this is the axis of the rod next this metal rod is having diameter small d the length of this rod denoted by l so both the values d and l they have given next it is subjected to an axial pull so on both the sides we are having pull type of load so here we have pull type of load on both the sides and because of this pulling action what will happen is the length will go on increasing and diameter will go on decreasing this will be the change in shape of the rod so when a rod is subjected to a pull type of load its length increases and diameter decreases so now the questions are to calculate stress in young's modulus so let us try to get the solution for this problem in solution first i'll say that since cross section cross sectional area of metal rod it is denoted by capital a and this is equal to pi by 4 d square so therefore capital a is equal to pi by 4 into diameter is 24 square so from this i'll get the answer of area as 452.39 mm square after getting area as the first question is to calculate stress so i'll use the formula of stress that is since stress induced
इन द मेटल रॉड सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू लोड अपॉन एरिया सो देर फॉर सिग्मा इट इज इक्वल टू लोड इज गिवेन इन द प्रॉब्लम एज पुल टाइप हैविंग फोर्टी इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री न्यूटन एरिया इज फोर फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइन सो फ्रॉम दिस आई गेट द फर्स्ट आंसर एंड इट इज एटी एट पॉइंट फोर टू न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर दिस इज द फर्स्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव मैं वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट यंग मॉड्यूलस सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट आई गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ स्ट्रेन सो सिंस स्ट्रेन इज गिवेन बाय इट इज चेंज इन लेंथ अपॉन ओरिजिनल लेंथ सो देर फॉर स्ट्रेन इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन लेंथ इट इज गिवेन एज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ओरिजिनल लेंथ इट इज टू थाउजेंड सो यर स्ट्रेन कम्स आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट फाइव इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस फोर एंड स्ट्रेन इट डजेंट हैव अट नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दिस आई कैन से दैट वी हैड वन फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम हुक्स लॉ एंड दैट फॉर्मूला इज यंग मॉड्यूलस is given by capital e it is equal to stress upon strain this has come from hooke's law so therefore capital e is equal to stress i've got the answer as 88.42 strain 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 so therefore capital e it comes out to be 353.68 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square this will be the second answer so as we have seen in this video there were two questions to solve first to get the value of stress that is sigma we have calculated 88.42 newton per mm square and the second part was to calculate young's modulus this we have found out it is 353.68 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square and with this we complete the problem